Hello and thank you for tuning into this episode of Animals and Ames. My name is Ron Edwards. I'm the Animal Control Supervisor here for the Ames Animal Shelter and Animal Control Program. Today you're going to meet uh, Lisa and Mac, her daughter. Uh, Lisa's our Animal Control Officer here at the Ames Animal Shelter and uh, she's going to show you some adoptable cats that we have. And I want to let everybody know that June is Adopt-A-Cat Month, so I want to try to do all that we can to get our kitties adopted here at the shelter this month. Um, we're going to have a lot of kittens coming in uh, during the summer, so the more adult cats that we can get adopted, we're going to be in a better position to be able to house all the animals here for our community. So let's meet Lisa and Mac. Hi, my name is Lisa Bricks. I'm one of the animal control officers here at the Ames Animal Shelter, and this is my daughter Mackenzie. She's going to help me with the show today. Um, this is Terry. So Terry is two years old. Uh, she was actually um, caught in a live humane trap in a neighborhood. Somebody had seen her running around for a while. Um, so when we got her here to the shelter, um, we realized that she was not a feral cat. Um, she was actually previously owned as she had been spayed already. Um, Terry is a little bit of a shy cat. Um, she's going to take a home where it's a little bit quieter. Um, not so much activity, definitely not like a Grand Central Station house. Um, so somebody that is going to be willing to give her some time to calm down and decompress in a new situation. And she would be a great lap cat. So she definitely likes to snuggle. Um, it's just a lot of noise um, sometimes is just a little bit too much for her. Um, so Terry is our longest resident. So. Um, we would really like for Terry to find her forever home. And she is really concerned <laughs> about what's going on in the room, but um, she is an absolutely sweet cat um, and she is available for adoption. So if you're interested, go ahead and look at our webpage and go ahead and apply for Terry. All right, this is Cal. Um, so we have a theme today. We are showing some of our orange cats. Um, and it's also Adopt a Shelter Cat Month. So it's just so important um, to get these guys into good homes. We do the best we can here at the shelter, but of course it's not anything, um, you know, what they would get in a normal home. Um, so like I said, this is Cal. He's a year and a half old. And he was surrendered because he just gets a little too overstimulated in homes with small children. Um, so he could be in a home with children, maybe a little bit calmer or older, maybe like 10 and above. Um, he is an absolute lover and he's an explorer. He, he loves to um, you know, hang upside down on his bed. He has a girlfriend in the cage next to him that he likes to peek around and and talk to she's not really into him but he doesn't know that so um, if you're interested in adopting Cal he is available for adoption and you can go on our website and fill out an application all right and this is Loki and Mochi um, so again we're um, highlighting some of our orange cats today um, they are a bonded pair. Not only are they bonded, but they are brothers. So they came from the same litter. Um, they were surrendered. There was um, just a lot going on in the home and they couldn't care for him properly. So of course we um, wanted to give them the best. So um, they will be adopted together since they're a bonded pair. We would never want them to be split up. Um, they really do um, need to stay together. So they are about two years old and they are fully vetted, neutered, everything. So they are ready. Um, Loki is a little bit more of an adventure guy. Mochi, as you can tell, likes to just hang around and sleep. Um, they do get up and you know play with each other, but uh, Loki is definitely the more adventurous one. If you're interested in adopting them, you can go to our website and fill out an application. Well, that's our show. I want to thank everybody for watching. And again, remember this is Adopt a Cat Month, so I want to see a lot of applications coming in online. Make sure you do that on our website at amesanimalshelter.org. You can always look at our Facebook page for things that are happening at the animal shelter. If you're looking for a lost pet, we post all of the lost pets that we get here in our community 
on our Facebook page, and that's also Ames Animal Shelter. Thank you for watching.